sometimes I'm really thinking, can the animal hear my breathing? Can the animal hear my heartbeat? You so desperately want to be able to get close to them without them moving, because if they move in response to you, you may never get a chance to touch them again. In Florida, there are places where you know that you're going to see manatees there every morning. In Alabama, it's just not like that. My name is Ruth Carmichael. I am a senior marine scientist at the Dauphin Island Sea Lab and an assistant professor of marine science at the University of South Alabama. Under Dauphin Island Sea Lab's Marine Mammal Research Program, we do a stranding and necropsy response specifically for manatees. Necropsy is basically an autopsy that you do, but not on a person, on an animal. If you think about the case of manatees, these are endangered species. You're not allowed to simply go take skin samples or tissue samples. So any time that I'm able to really get a sense of what was going on with that animal internally is really exciting. And there's also the Sea Labs Manatee Sighting Network. When we're actually trying to interact with the animal, we'll first pull up their location on the satellites. We can get near real-time locations before we even get in the boat and have to go out on the water. an eye on that spot right there. Manatees are really elusive in our area. I'm not seeing anything in here. All right, let's circle back around and head up a little further upriver. Okay. A lot of what we do is searching. You know, trying to very calmly and quietly first put eyes on the animal without disturbing their natural behavior. Once we're sure that we're close enough, we can use the hydrophone and we listen for the beeps that come off of their belt. So it might sound something like beep, beep. And then the first thing you, that you do is get in the water and I try to be as calm as possible and just kind of get the animals familiar with my presence. And then I will not use much leg movement and no large arm movements. And really do my best to sort of be the manatee. It is not at all uncommon for us to find no animals when we expect to find them. The thing to remember is that zeros are important data too. So if you go to an area and you look for animals and there's no animals there, that's still an important piece of information. I feel very pleased with what we've been able to accomplish, considering that we were able to see an important question. Why are these animals here? And what are they doing? And then apply our knowledge and skills to answer those questions. We've been able to collect a lot of data and learn a lot about these animals in a relatively short period of time.